And even with temperatures climbing well into the triple digits, we still always hear that expression, Arizona, it's a dry heat. Yeah, but is humidity or temperature more important when it comes to heat illness? Team Tall's Michael Downa is verifying that for us tonight. Our sources are Dr. Natasha Bouillon with One Medical. Data from the Maricopa County Heat Reports in a 2016 study published in the International Journal of Biometeorology. Phoenix's sweltering sun can beat down. It's causing the closing of popular hiking trails, but at least it's a dry heat, right? And the way our body tries to cool down, it's the same way, whether you're in a dry weather or a humid weather. Dr. Natasha Bouillon says no matter the humidity, our body still tries to cool down the same way, through sweat. So in humid heat, it's actually harder for sweat to evaporate from our skin. So we feel warmer for longer. In dry heat, the sweat does evaporate, but the risk there is that we can actually get dehydrated quickly. So which one is worse? When it comes to actually suffering from heat exhaustion, there really isn't a huge difference in the epidemiological data. Studies found that temperature was the number one factor when it came to heat illness. And in a dry climate, heat issues can sneak up on you because you might not feel that hot. And in just a matter of minutes, all of a sudden, people might feel dizziness, headaches, fatigued. They might not know that that's actually heat illness. According to Maricopa County, there were 323 heat-related deaths last year, the most this century. And Bouillon warns that if it's over 90 degrees, you can be at risk no matter the humidity. And really the bottom line is people need to take high temperatures seriously. So we can verify that temperature, not humidity, matters more when it comes to heat illness. Do you have something you want us to verify? Well, email, call, or text us. Michael Doudna, 12 News.